Hi gardeners, welcome to the balcony. Today we're going to move the alocasia from the balcony to our backyard. So let's see how this one goes. Are you nearly done? Nearly done? Oh, yeah. What's that snake? Oh. It's a worm or snake? Worm. Worm. Wow, huge. No. Huh? It's a worm. How do you get in there? Oh, scared, scared me. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's definitely a worm. Yeah, it's not, not very happy. No, we do it. Should we go outside? Um, Checking the garden outside. Yeah, we will. We'll leave it for now. No. Oh. What's a worm? Yeah. Kill it or not? No, no, no. Don't kill it. It's good. Good for the soil. No, leave it in the soil. Here? Yeah. No, I don't like it. Why? How busy? How did you get in there? Um, probably from the, yeah, the compost. Um, now you probably think we're a bit mad uh, worrying about whether that's a snake or not, but um, in Australia we have um, the snakes, the tiny um, brown snake, when they're young they've got a pale colour and they're still quite poisonous, uh, quite venomous, so um, hence that's why we did panic a little bit there. So um, it's not that we're scared of worms, we're just scared that it might have been a snake. So we're digging right around it. The soil's been loosened up by taking out the other one. But as you can see, it's not a particularly big pot for the size of the plant. So, if, John, if you can stand up a sec so we can show how tall this plant is. Yeah, <laughs> his height. All right, keep digging. <laughs> So this one's going to be uh, pretty hard because the roots are really um, got into the, right down to the bottom of the self-watering pot. So we'll, we'll come back a bit later when we've done a bit more work. All right, looks like it's getting a bit looser now. Some of those roots are cling clinging on. So this is going to go in the plastic bag. So what's the plan from then on? <laughs> oh, okay. I've got to stop filming while I hold the bag. Right, change, change of plans. It is going downstairs. So I can drag it through. Try not to smash it on the wall because you're just going to have green without breaking your neck. Yeah. Other <laughs> green stains all over the stairs and just very carefully downstairs. <laughs> that looks really hilarious. It's got big balls hanging between your shorts. All right. <laughs> so now we're going to do a put and look. You, you put it in the garden where you think it might go and then you look, stand back and see whether that's where you really want it to go. Uh, we just think it will add a really nice tropical element to our very tropical-esque style garden. Right, so one of the options is to maybe take out some of these stripy canna and put it in that general area. So we're just going to see how that's going to go. It goes really well against the uh, banana palm there too. Um, so yeah, that's an idea. Um, a little bit of sun gets in that area, but I think it can handle a bit of sun just as long as it's kept fairly moist. So um, just let that go, let that leaf go, and we'll see how it looks. It doesn't look too bad there. Yeah, I think so. And then we can um, just turn the plant around so we're not looking at that. All the backs of the We could always... Um, no, no, we're not moving that. <laughs> we can always prune off leaves. They're all going to get taller and taller as it gets older. So that's where we've decided to put it. So the water feature is going on, just to add a bit of nice background noise. Got lots of traffic here, gets a bit noisy here. And John's gone to get the spade. So dig up these canners here. I did have the canners kind of like, you know, one lot on one side of the water feature and another sort of matching lot on the other side, the, the stripy ones. But 
Um, you know, that's what we've decided to do, so we're going to dig those out. Sorry? And we haven't worked out where to put the other one. That's the little baby over there. So, I um, have to work that out. And then the canners, um, we'll, we'll sort that out later where they're going. So, salt here is really sandy, uh, quite easy to dig, and canners are like a based on a like a, a bit like a corm tuber, so they're they're fairly easy to dig out. All right, so this going, we'll put them aside and work out where they're going to go. All right, so just digging out that soil. Almost deep enough. Yeah, we're going to um, get that out of the bag and then we're going to turn it around to see which the leaves will sort themselves out eventually. So a little bit of leaf damage from the move, but it's not too bad. 